Welcome to my channel. I'm Birger Kier. I was born and raised in Germany, but I already visited over 20 countries during my short life. And I lived in New Zealand and Great Britain for extended periods of time. By now, I settled down in Japan for the next five years to eventually obtain a PhD degree in the end of the five years. And I would like to use the channel to show people my life in Japan, but also to take them with me on my travels around the world. And there might also be some videos featuring PhD life and giving you some insight into some critical thoughts of mine about society or also giving you a short introduction to science phenomena. Okay, um, that's an introduction about how I would like to use the channel and I was in Taiwan over Christmas and New Year's and I stayed in Taipei during the first three days of my trip and during the last three days and I would like to show you my experiences in Taipei and yeah let's start at the airport. I successfully emigrated to Taiwan and waiting for my luggage so there are already some suitcases over there but I can't see my bag so. as you might expect I finally got my bag and then took a bus to Taipei main station and the metro from there to my hostel and during the first two days in Taipei I attended a model United Nations simulation for all of you who don't know what that is, there is a link in the info box below explaining the principles of Model United Nations simulations. And it's a really fun thing. It's basically a simulation of the United Nations and you're representing a specific country and discussing a specific topic. And you also get to know a bunch of new people and um, yeah I made some videos to give you some insight into the social events but also into the simulation itself. <laughs> Yeah, so that's how it looks like at a model United Nations simulation. And the day after the model United Nations simulation, I accidentally bleached a wash load of clothes because I thought the bleach to be liquid washing detergent. Sorry, I can't read Chinese characters. So yeah, I ended up bleaching a full wash load of clothes and then I went shopping at Taipei 101 and well basically I went shopping in the surrounding buildings and the surrounding area because have a look by yourself how Taipei 101 looks from the inside
Yes, you might expect Dior, Prada, Chanel, Gucci are probably no shopping options a graduate student can afford. But it was still impressive to see all these shops clustered together in one big huge mall. And there were some affordable shopping options in the surrounding malls. And I finally did not go up onto Taipei 101, so I didn't make it to the top of Taipei 101. Basically, my decision not to go up was based on the large crowds of Chinese tourists I saw and the idea that it's probably not so enjoyable to be at the top of Taipei 101 with all these Chinese tourists. But I got a meal downstairs in Taipei 101 in Indian Mia and I would like to show you what I got because it was quite a lot for just 7 euros and I was impressed that food downstairs in Taipei 101 is actually affordable and the food was also quite good. <laughs> At New Year's itself, I was first at the National Museum and then later on at the fireworks. Hey, yay everyone! I have been in Tainan the past couple of days and Tainan is a really nice city. They have a lot of sites and a national park close by. And it was a really good time even though I had to miss out on the boat ride in the national park because there were lots and lots of Chinese tourists and baiting would have taken me like one and a half hours so yeah I decided to miss out on the boat ride but the treehouse in Amping is really nice and they have a lot of temples in Tainan also they have a really nice bar street and all the bars and pubs are really e easy to navigate so I did some clubbing the past nights and it was really nice but now I'm back in Taipei for New Year's Eve and I'm going to watch the fireworks at Taipei 101 tonight but until then I have a couple of hours left and I decided to visit the National Palace Museum in Taipei and it's in the building behind me and it already looks pretty impressive from the outside and I'm going in there right now and I assume I'm not allowed to film in the inside so see you tonight for the fireworks <laughs> Yay, I just came back from the fireworks at Taipei 101 and had a late night snack and it took us forever to come back because it was so crowded we needed two hours to go back to the hostel because we couldn't get on the MRT for a really long time and then we took a bus instead and got on the MRT at the latest station and overall it took us two hours um, the fireworks at Taipei 101 are a really big event over here and it's really really crowded so just plan that you will need forever to get back home but it was still a really interesting experience and the fireworks are super super nice I never saw that good fireworks so I can really recommend watching them if you're in Taipei or Renee here. So, bye. At New Year's itself, 
I went to the cinema, so there is no video material I could show you. And I watched The Hunger Games Mockingbird Part 1 because the release date in Japan isn't before May next year. And I personally really like The Hunger Games trilogy. So I decided to try to find a cinema in Taipei screening the film. And I was lucky and so I went in. But yeah, as I mentioned, no video material for you. So that's it for today and I hope you enjoyed my travels in Taipei. If that's the case, show it with a like. And if you want to hear more about my travels in Taiwan, subscribe to my channel. The next video will feature me going hiking in Taroko George National Park and exploring Tainan. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and see you again. Bye!